So all we've said basically to the K-12 schools is we're extending, um, not going onto the campus till April 15th. Because we did that, as the governor said, you can't have kids come back and then you need about two weeks and then you'd have to, so we'd be into May for testing, it's not gonna work. But, but what we're saying to the schools is they still have to give those instructional hours and they're gonna do a fantastic job. We've had four schools who've already been on spring break of the other 63 are on spring break this week or next week. So they're gonna come back on Monday uh, that most of the K-5 kids, were, they're going to do all kinds of innovative. They're using the bus drivers to have drop-off points, just like with the food for instructions for, you know, bi-weekly. On the 6 through 12, almost all of them have devices or they have money now that they can spend for devices for low-income kids and internet access. So all the 6 12 will be virtual. All, all, no, and then as the other schools come online, you know, because they have the spring break and the one week off, that ends in March. As those come on through April 15th, all schools will be doing similarly as, as being done by Duval, uh, Sumter, um, uh, Collier, and, um, and Union are already doing it and are, are up and ready to run on Monday.